Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about motherboard form factors. Now the motherboard is the main component of a computer. It's basically a large circuit board that's mounted into a computer case and it's where all the computer components connect to. Now motherboards come in different shapes and sizes and this is known as a form factor. And in addition to its dimensions, the form factor includes the type of power supply and the power connectors the rear I.O. panel, the mounting holes, and so on. So a form factor is a standard in computers that manufacturers follow to make sure that their parts are compatible with a motherboard. Now the most common form factor that's used in PCs today is ATX. ATX stands for Advanced Technology Extended. Now this is a non-proprietary industry specification that was created by Intel back in 1995 and is now the de facto standard form factor for PCs today. So if you are the type of person that likes to build their own PC, then most likely you'll be getting an ATX motherboard. A standard ATX motherboard is 12 by 9.6 inches, and they will have either a 20 or in modern motherboards, a 24 pin power connector. And they will also have several expansion slots. So for example, this particular ATX motherboard has six expansion slots. Now prior to the development of the ATX, there was the AT form factor. AT stands for Advanced Technology. Now this was used back in the 1980s that was developed by IBM. AT motherboards are 12 by 13.8 inches in size and they are no longer in development since the succession of the ATX. Another version of the ATX motherboard is the Micro ATX. Micro ATX motherboards are smaller than ATX boards as its name suggests. So it's a square design compared to the standard rectangular design of the ATX. Micro ATX boards are 9.6 inches by 9.6 inches. So from top to bottom it's about 2.5 inches shorter than a standard ATX. And because it's shorter it will have fewer expansion slots. So this particular board has three expansion slots compared to six on the ATX. These are cheaper than ATX boards and they were designed to fit in smaller computer cases. And like the ATX, they will also have a 24 pin power connector. And even smaller than the micro ATX, there is the ITX form factor. The ITX form factor came out in 2001, starting with the mini ITX. Now this was designed for the ever-increasing demand for smaller, space-saving computers. The ITX standard consumes less power, and because it uses less power, some versions were often cooled only by the use of heat sinks and not with fans. ITX was developed by VIA Technologies, and they come in different sizes. So here is the Mini ITX. The Mini ITX is 6.7 inches by 6.7 inches. So it's about half the length of an ATX board. And because it's so short, it's only going to have one expansion slot compared to ATX and Micro ATX. And it will only have two memory slots where the ATX and Micro ATX will have at least four. The Mini ITX will fit into the same computer case that's meant for the ATX and Micro ATX. And this is because all three of these boards, the mounting holes, their rear input output panels, and their expansion slots, they all line up the same. Then there's also the BTX form factor. The BTX was designed by Intel to make further improvements from the ATX form factor such as an improved bore design, which creates a more inline airflow, which improves cooling. So for example, notice how the memory and bus slots are horizontal, flowing with the direction of the airflow, instead of inhibiting it compared to the ATX form factor. And another improvement is the structure design, which is flexible enough to work on both smaller and larger tower cases. However, even though the BTX was supposed to succeed the ATX, it never did. And this was largely due to components, such as newer CPUs and chipsets becoming more energy efficient, which required less power and resulted in reducing heat. So right there, a major benefit of BTX boards, which was cooling, was eliminated because of these newer components running cooler. 
And another form factor is the NLX. NLX was created by Intel and it was designed for low-end, low-profile computers. And instead of expansion cards that plug perpendicular into the motherboard, the NLX board uses a riser card so they can plug in parallel with the motherboard. You would typically find NLX boards in slimline computer cases. So thank you everyone for watching this video on motherboard form factors. Please subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and thank you for watching. Now prior to the development of the AT was... Uh, what the hell was it? Oops. Now prior to... No. Now prior... Okay, now prior prior uh, prior to the development of the AT, <laughs> uh, why is my stomach growling? All right, there we go again. All right, cut again. Okay. Now prior to the <laughs> uh, AT, all right. Prior, okay. Prior to the development of the ATX motherboard was the AT mother prior okay prior to the <laughs> uh. all right testing 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 one two three testing uno dos tres catos no anyway all right now prior to the devel <laughs> prior to the devel now prior to the development of the AT <laughs> oh, forget it